Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to discuss the central limit theorem and then solve a problem that's based on it. Now imagine that there is a population of any distribution, not necessarily a normal distribution, which is characterized by a mean mu and a standard deviation of sigma. Now if we take random samples of size n repeatedly from this population, then each of these random samples has its own mean, which is itself a random variable, and this set of sample means has a distribution that is approximately normal. So the central limit theorem states that for simple random samples of size n from a population with a mean mu and a standard deviation sigma, the sampling distribution of the various samples drawn from this population approaches a normal probability distribution with a mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma over root n. And this number is referred to as the standard error of the sample mean. Now remember, for this to be true, the sample size n has to be sufficiently large, that is greater than or equal to 30. The central limit theorem does not require the distribution of the population to be a normal distribution. Now, how do we apply this? When we're given the standard deviation of the population, the standard error of the sample mean can be calculated. Now, practically, the population standard deviation is almost never known. So instead, we estimate the standard error of the sample mean by dividing the standard deviation of the sample mean by the square root of n. So what this means is that as the sample size increases, the sample mean gets closer on average to the true mean of the population. In other words, the distribution of the sample means about the population mean gets smaller and smaller. Let's take a look at a specific example that better illustrates this important theorem. Okay, so here we're given a situation where there's a population of fixed income fund returns. That population has a certain mean and a standard deviation, which we are not given. Now our analyst has taken a large sample size and the average of his sample has turned out to be 8% and the standard deviation of the sample is 2%. Now, applying the central limit theorem, we understand that the distribution of this sample mean is a normal distribution characterized with a mean value of 8% and a standard deviation, which is the standard error of the sample mean. The 95% confidence interval is the area of the curve bounded by two standard deviations approximately. Now, the standard deviation, of course, from the central limit theorem for this distribution of sample means is s, which is the standard deviation of the sample, divided by the square root of n. So this turns out to 2 over 11, which is 0 0.1818. So the analyst can be confident at the 95% level that the population mean lies within this interval. And we get the answer of 7.64% to 8.36, which represents that range. So that was an example application of the central limit theorem. Good luck as always. I will see you soon with more videos.